All right, welcome everybody. We, uh, so far, I think the reviews are very positive. Um, we're, it's great to be back in person. We're, we're thankful for you um, to be together again. We want to make sure we highlight uh, that we have a gymnasium project that has been wrapped up and it's ready to be looked at. So at some point, we want to probably go through that. Uh, but right now, I just want to focus on our student performance. We have our high school drum line here um, ready to go. So I will, I will turn it over to you. Welcome. Drumline, excellent work. And thanks for getting up so early in the last week of summer vacation for you. Uh, next, we have uh, Gracie Fink. What a great name. It's a great name. She's going to perform the national anthem for us. So welcome, Gracie.
Great job, Gracie. With convocation, we're always so blessed to be able to highlight some of our students. And so thank you again, Drumline and, and Gracie, for being here um, as we kick off the 21-22 school year. And now to the adults in the audience. Welcome back, everyone. And welcome to our new colleagues. So if you are new to White Bear Lake this year or last year, because we, we missed convocation last year, well, let me, let me correct that. Maybe you didn't miss it, but we didn't hold it. So, uh, so if you're new this year or if you were new last year, please stand. Let's get a sense for how many new people have joined us. All right, welcome to all of you. Also, if you've been here at least 20 years, I'd like to recognize you. So if you've been here at least 20 years, please stand. Okay, hold on. 25 years or more, stay stand. So 25 years or more. All right, 30 years or more. Thirty-five years or more? <laughs> All right. I think, well, let's see, 40 years or more. I, I see Marge, I think Marge is standing over there. It's always hard to tell. Marge Newmaster, one of our board members. Marge, what's the, what's the number? 50. Okay, 50 years or more, please stand. There she is. Thanks for your service, Marge. All right, I also want to oh, welcome our other board members. So uh, Don Mullen, Angela Thompson, Scott Arcan, Kim Chapman, Deb Beloyd, and Jessica Ellison. I know some of you are here, and you're spread throughout the, the crowd. So thanks for being here. And thanks for all the work you've, you've done during this difficult time. All right, so I was talking to a colleague last week um, and reminiscing about my first days in the district. That was nearly eight years ago already. So at the time when we moved here, I had two children, one in third grade and one in kindergarten. So today as we start, this, uh, as we look at ready to start the school year, I've got a, a junior at South. I've got an eighth grader at Sunrise and a second grader at Matoska. So what a, what a difference uh, eight years make. And uh, the, ref the conversation I had was essentially that, that each year seems so magnified right now, especially when you're at this age, when you're raising children or when you get to work with children every day, you see uh, a calendar year go by and you see so much change and um, it seems accelerated right now. So. I was doing some reflecting on that, and I hope that um, all of you who are new to the district can reflect fondly uh, in future years about your time here and was, as you kick things off. It was nice to visit with several of our new educators last week as they were getting ready for the school year. For some of you, it's your first job out of college. For some of you, you're coming here after gaining experience elsewhere. And the energy you all shared as you talked about your roles and your hopes for the school year was uh, truly inspiring. And I look forward uh, to connecting again once the school year gets underway. As we move into the school year, let's acknowledge that these are challenging times. School districts across the country are experiencing tensions that have boiled over in ways that most of us have not experienced before. And yet, these are incredibly exciting times in White Bear Lake. The end of August brings with it the hope of a new school year. And with all of you on the team, I'm confident that we, that we will continue to thrive in these challenging times. I want to take a few moments to both reflect and look forward in a few important areas. First, let's get this out of the way. We're obviously still in a pandemic. 
and we should all be proud of our pandemic response thus far. As challenging as this has been, our actions since the spring of 2020 have taken many perspectives into account and have always had the best interests of students in mind. There have been many positives that have come out of the pandemic. We have proven the importance of the roles in each and every one of us uh, plays as we collectively support our students and our families. A few examples over the last 18 months include our health services staff helping to keep our students and staff safe, our extended day staff and our parents providing invaluable childcare options for our families. Our custodians and maintenance staff who have kept our buildings clean and have kept our HVAC systems operating at peak performance. We've all learned a lot about HVAC systems, it seems. Our bus drivers who continue to be that important first point of contact each and every day for so many of our students. And our nutrition services team who have served tens of thousands of meals to our students. In fact, it's probably over um, in, in the hundreds of thousands We've continued our focus on academics as we have had robust conversations about grading, about instructional practices, the use of technology, about creating a more equitable educational system, and the list goes on. We are in a much better place than we were at the start of last school year, and we will continue to take the steps necessary to keep students and staff safe. While I know we're all likely tired of hearing the word unprecedented, I will use it here in a more fun, positive way. We are in the midst of an unprecedented investment in school facilities on a scale never seen before in the history of our state. In the fall of 2019, our community overwhelmingly supported a request to address our significant facilities needs, and we are well on our way towards implementing our comprehensive plan. In fact, one of the reasons we chose to switch things up a bit this year and host convocation at the stadium was to give you all a chance to see the gymnasium project, which was literally completed days ago, although I think there's a few loose ends to, to tie up, but uh, you're, you're welcome to go check it out. Uh, so this was one of the very first projects that we got underway once our community gave us the green light. So building projects are happening throughout the district as we work in phases to complete the task that we set out to accomplish um, just a short couple of years ago. Maybe I should do this. There we go. So as we set out um, a couple of years ago, our, our theme was building our future and we've certainly, we've, we've certainly uh, begun that work. Just last week, we held the groundbreaking ceremony for the new high school. In three short years, in the fall of 2024, we will come together for convocation at White Bear Lake Area High School. Our unified high school will be the premier high school in the state and arguably the entire Midwest. The unity and cohesiveness we felt when the community came together in support of the 2019 referendum was an exciting time. The connections we made with district residents during community conversations that fall were invaluable. While our audience members didn't always arrive ready to support the bond referendum, the manner in which we were all able to listen to one another and come to an understanding was remarkable. I truly believe that we'll get back to these days of civil discourse, and that is the path that, uh, that will lead us to a better future. We are on our way to achieving our mission, thanks largely to our strategic plan. Much of the discomfort our organization has experienced is due to change that is brought about by our strategic plan. As we move through the next few months and get back to a more normal school routine, as our world in general has time to calm down, we hope, and when we will hopefully finally be on the other side of the pandemic, we will truly experience our strategic emergence. And at that time, when the time is right, potentially in the early spring, we'll be pulling together our core planning team, refresh our strategies, and reconvene our action teams. We've made significant progress in the last four years as we remain committed to creating equitable educational opportunities for each of our students. We remain resolute in our commitment to move this school system forward 
regardless of the challenges we may face in doing so. The movement might not always be as fast as some might want, but moving, on, moving an entire school system is complex. It cannot be done with easy technical solutions, and it cannot be done with only like-minded people. White Bear Lake Area Schools can be the model community. We can be the school district that figures out how to collaboratively come out of this difficult time. We owe it to our students to find a way to unify, even when so many hope to create division. And it is going to require all of us to believe that we can indeed become the school community that brings people with differing views together for the benefit of our community's children. The strategic plan was developed by our community, by many different voices, and that is the power of the plan. Those who are critical of our work and who suggest that we are not moving fast enough are off base. And those who are saying that we should scrap our focus altogether are simply wrong. We must remain strategic in our work, and we must understand the need to seek common ground. I shared the following with the community as part of my message in a recent BEARS update. Guided by and supporting our district strategic plan, we now emerge from last year and transition into the 21-22 school year. We will continue to promote a welcoming and inclusive culture of acceptance, understanding, and achievement for all students and families in the district. We remain committed to ensuring that each student has the education and support they need to be successful. The repeated use of the word we in that message is very important. This work is not something that any of us can carry individually. Rather, it is the whole of our team, the we, that will move our district in the direction we need to go. And we owe it to our students, and we owe it to ourselves and each other to come together and do this great work. Our collective focus on our organization's moral imperative to maximize the academic, social, and emotional growth of each of our students must remain aligned to the district's strategic plan. It is essential that there is a strong culture of diversity, equity, and inclusion throughout the organization. To that end, one of the steps we'll take this year is to measure how aligned we are in those efforts. Additional information will be coming in the next few days. Thank you for your efforts as we continue to ensure we're moving the needle. And while we're doing the important work, it is also important that we take care of ourselves Please continue to lean on one another and on the supports available to staff members as it's essential that we uh, each refill our cup from time to time. Whether it's a morning run or a tall cup of coffee, do what makes you ready to start your day refreshed and invigorated. In fact, I invite you to start taking care of yourself today with mindfulness activities that will be facilitated at the Move Mindfully booth on the field. Sessions will be led at well, we're probably going to move that, probably to 10.30 and 11-ish at the end zone near the scoreboard. So, and with that mention of the fun awaiting you on the field, I'll bring my remarks to a close so you can take some time to get reacquainted and to welcome those who are new to White Bear, of course. Thank you, everyone, for your dedication to our students and our broader community. And let's start the year off uh, right with our high school cheerleading team leading us in the school song.
you. Great job, great job, thank you. We have another round of applause for our students who came here this morning to kick off the studio with us. All right, that's the program, short and sweet. We are totally we're gonna change it up. So um, I look forward to seeing you on the field. There is a dunk tank and there are a few people who are dressed appropriately to hop in. Some are hiding the uh, swim trunks that they might have on to, to hop into the dunk tank. Um, and of course, say it with me everybody, it's gotta be a good one on three. One, two, three, go Bears! One more time. One, two, three, go Bears! All right, thanks everybody.